and Todd Grisham. The fighters are here, and they're about to get it on at the Lighthouse Theater. Next to me, of course, is Johnny Nelson. Todd, always a pleasure to work with you. Always a pleasure. And now it's time for our tale of the tape. Todd, can you spot the reach difference? Can you spot it? Look at that. Well, we're all set. Let's go into the ring for the classy Jimmy Lennon Jr. This bout is scheduled for 12 rounds of boxing. Big fight feels you want from a prize fight. Here we go. This place is like a coliseum. When it's packed out, the fans are there. You can hear their punches. You can smell the sweat. The heat is second to none. So they stare into each other's eyes one final time, touch gloves, and get prepared for battle. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. He misses with that jab. The straight right just misses. We welcome you to this beautiful theater where every seat has been sold, but the fans will only need the edge. We expect a standing ovation when these two are done. You walk in, you cannot hide or duck or stand behind anybody. The audience is on you. They see every single movement, every single twitch. If you're scared, the thousands of people are here in this place, they will spot it. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Do you believe this? Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm that notch above you, and so I've got to respect both of them more than happy. Gotta let your hands go a little bit. It's okay to be aggressive now. And he scores with the counter. Do you believe what we are seeing? else he could do there but take a knee to stop the beating what you see right there is a heartbroken fighter this round it's pretty obvious who has the advantage here as long as they don't get complacent you think this is too easy if they keep this same kind of pace up they've got this fight the bell to start the round. They've got all the momentum on their side after that last round. Let's see what they do here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round. Everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. His stamina is off the charts. counter shot this slugger has a unique mentality doesn't he Johnny he just wants to win by stumbling around on Bambi legs Keep away from him. has he weathered the storm it's been a tough round so far it's been a tough tough round what did they do what did they tell him when he goes back to the corner how are they going to get through this a very competitive round here so far a very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dares do anything out of turn. And he wasn't ready for that counter punch. Not a lot of defense here at all. Well, they're going deep into the gas tank on this round. Uh, 
And he wasn't ready for that counter punch. Looking to land the hook. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Every minute of this fight is important. Every second, every minute of this round is important. You cannot afford to lose it. They ring the bell, and here we go. After that last round, something has got to change. This is one of those situations. You've just been hurt. You've got to get out there again. Be smart. Be sharp. Don't be a fool. Don't get suckered in. Make him fight your fight. Hold him. Tie him up just until your head clears again and your legs come back again. Because if you don't, he's going to pop you off. This fighter has been described as a swarmer, that fighter who attempts to overwhelm their opponent by applying constant pressure. Oh, man, you've got a swarm in your face. You've got to try and push him off, make him go into the rope. You've got to sometimes fight fire with fire. Hit him low on the blind side of the referee. Get him angry. Swing and a miss with that jab. Their jab just got blocked. Can they figure out the combination to their safe? Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. He needs to be careful not to punch himself out. He's got a massive reach advantage. Let's see if he uses it. If you have got long arms and you're the bigger fighter, you've got to keep him out there because you're not good at fighting up close and personal. Very, very good fighters can do that. Very, very good big fighters can do that. But use the jab, use the reach, and use that end the shot power. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. Leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as the fighter. And the corner has got to put a firecracker on that fight to get out there and get the job done. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. Last round complete domination. Let's see what we have in store for us here. Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything works. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. They need to be careful they don't punch themselves out here. Not throw out a lazy jab in this fight, you'll get knocked out. Throwing the hook, but it doesn't score. It's the typical big man, little man argument. He's got to be quicker, he's got to move a lot to win this fight. The plan is to try and change that game plan. Get him angry, get him frustrated. And is this the beginning of the end? A nightmare start to this fight. He takes a step back, recalibrates himself, and here we go again. What recovery skills they are. What a shot it was. Completely gone. I thought there's no way he's going to finish this round. But look at that. Look at the movement. Look at the speed. Back on it. That could never happen. Jab not gonna score. You can tell who's stronger and who's faster. Despite what the judges' scorecards read, there are no losers in this one. At this point, you gotta believe he can't win on the scorecards, gonna need a knockout. Wow, it was like two different leagues. And there's 
the bell to start the round. So the fight will continue. How do they turn things around? That was a tough last round. Now you've got to make sure he doesn't put it on him. That's what he's going to try and do. So tie him up, hold him, lean on him. Don't get drawn into a fight. Not yet, not until your senses have come back. A lot of effort. You're always looking for that KO. And we could see an upset right here. has been knocked down. Up the replay machine. I have got to see that again. A shot from the gods took him out. One, two, three, four, five. Give me your blood. This was an unexpected turn of events. What happens next? He's up, but, but for how long? Look at that. On the heels, but look at it, it's nothing there. There's no defense. The eyes are glazed. It just takes one more clear shot. A clean one. Then he's out of there. We need to pick things up here in the second half of the round. It's that forever hope. Remember the fight at Evander Holyfield? He could be behind on points until the last 10 seconds. But he's fighting like he's gonna put it back. That's the kind of hope we need to see. As it is in most heavyweight fights, don't blink because one big shot and this thing could be over. The only fear you have with this heavyweight is has he punched himself out? Every time they throw a shot, they get countered. They're happy this round's coming to... They're in trouble! Much for defensive abilities. Huge momentum swing that's going to be considering that round will be 10 8 after the knockdown. I love the response though. Got back up, took a deep breath and thought, right, brush it off, get on with the job. They ring the bell and here we go. He couldn't finish him off in the last round. Let's see what this has in store for us. What a heavy knockdown. How are they going to come back from that? They staggered back to the corner. They've got to freshen them up, alert them again, get them back on point again. This round, they've got to coast around. Don't get involved. Give yourself another three minutes to get your head clear. This is a battle royale between two heavyweight bombers. Set of the year, perhaps right before our eyes. And it appears the onslaught is over, at least for now. Got caught sleeping on the job. What do you do? You step back, steady yourself, recompose yourself, then boom, back into it. But do not make those mistakes. This is the wrong place to fall asleep. Back and forth they go in this round. The momentum continues to shift. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. Looking to land the hook. This fighter is not interested in throwing one shot at a time. They throw combinations, and they throw them non-stop. Let me explain to you. The corner's got to take a good look at their fighter. A much better game plan here. Defense, defense, defense is everything because they got shot once. They know they can get caught again. So for a very close round with 10 seconds to go. plan does not seem to be working here. What's he have to do differently? Needs a knockout without a doubt. Needs to go out there and think, right, you know what? Next round, you're getting it. You're going to get a kitchen sink. They ring the bell and here we go. Not the start that they wanted, but let's see what they can do in this round. They've had one minute to recover. Now they've got to bluff it. They've got to bluff it. They've got to come out now and style it out. Get on the back foot. Jab. Rest on the jab. Be smart and pop until your legs come back. Then put the pressure on. He 
Stamina is off the charts. Swing and a miss with the hook. This fighter expending a lot of energy in this round. Well, Johnny, I know it's still early on, but have you been surprised by anything you've seen? They know the second they touch you, it's done. They're that powerful. Both of these fighters have had their moments. Perfectly matched, skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And we may see a stoppage here. Down goes Machine. Back up, but the corner has to take some responsibility here and maybe stop this fight. Somebody can smell blood here. They can smell blood. They've got to be smart. Get in there. Then boom, back in the same spot again. It happened once. So we enter the final 10 seconds here in a pretty dominant display. next round is going to be crucial considering the knockdown we just witnessed you've been put down you've got to think right survive and then give it back the next round And there's the bell to start the round. Got to get the momentum shift coming their way. What can they do here? That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out fresh as a daisy. That's not going to happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got a, he's got a bluff him. Punch, counter punch. He's putting the pedal to the metal, but has to be careful that he doesn't run out of gas. Is he going to punch himself out, though? Holding nothing back here in the round. Every time he throws a punch, a receipt is coming right back. You gotta like what you're seeing as we reach the halfway point of this round. Well, Johnny, we're in the early stages here. What have you seen so far? Just because you've got a good chin doesn't mean you've got leather skin. It means you can still get caught. So you've got to go for those pointed areas over the eyebrow, the cheekbone. You've just got to try and cut them skimming. Go for speed. Counter shot lands. Swelling, the referee taking a good look at it. Is he going to stop it? Are you all right? Are you okay? The referee takes a look and he says, let's get it on. The defense failed them. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. these two fighters gassing out as this fight goes on. You cannot gas out if you prepared right, slept right, ate right, and did everything right for this fight. You have no excuse for gassing out. That's what I'm talking about. Change your angles, go out there and finish it. He's ready to go. You're so close, kid. Come on. Bang him downstairs. Jab, jab. That's what I'm talking about. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. How much do they have left in the tank after that last round? An amazing pace and tempo set in the last round. Can you keep this up? Me, personally, I don't think that's possible. And if they can, their training, their conditioning would have been ridiculous, like they're in the army. But these guys, if they can keep up this pace, we are in for a great night. Let them punch themselves out here. Looking to land the hook.
incredible work rate. <laughs> this fighter is sort of the death by a thousand paper cuts approach. He'll hit you a thousand times before you can land one. You gotta ruffle their feathers, Todd. You cannot let them get comfortable, drag them, get them complaining to the referee. Because once somebody with excellent foot speed and excellent power gets into the rhythm, the fight is over. Tough to be a judge in this fight as both fighters have had their big moments. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other. Because no one dare do anything out of turn. Holding on here for a minute. The only fear you have with this fighter is has he punched himself out? This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. It might come down to who's in better shape. There's a lot on the line here. Don't let him recover. Don't let him get his breath back. Next round, you get on top of him. Keep him. We're hoping for an all-action slugfest. They really seem to exhaust themselves last round. Let's see what they have left. Exerted a lot of energy in the fight so far. Now they're shattered. This is what you call championship rounds. If you have done the work, slept right, ate right, prepped right, I'm expecting you to get through this. If not, if you've cheated, the ring can be the loneliest place in the world. So much for defensive abilities. We were going to see the finish there. Now they've got to wake up. They've got to get on the back foot, clear the head a little bit, then jump back into it again. It's all about the hustle. Get back on it. Halfway through the round, and man, these two are going at And that hook misses. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. In the early rounds of a fight, you'll see two boxers feel each other out, test each other's power, and I think this boxer has decided I can walk through anything that lands. This is when you get in the ring feeling like you're King Kong, because you know you've got a chin that is not. Vision is being impaired, no doubt about it, but is the referee going to stop it here? And yep, that's going to do it. Time is of the essence, and it was a matter of... Another TKO win here, Johnny. What's next? A TKO? We've got to see it again. Because TKOs, they, they, they finished the story too early. It's like being kicked out of a club before the night's done. We want to get a, a, a full-blooded who won and who lost. Not by a boat, not by a cut, not by a TKO.